Hello and welcome to VR Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the RealWorks Nappa and Vegeta. So yeah, I'm not really familiar with these kinds of things, as in uh, I don't really have a lot of them. I actually used to have a lot more. Right now I only have these two and what I'll be reviewing tomorrow. Um, I got rid of a lot of them because I honestly don't like the way a lot of them look. I kept Nappa and Vegeta because they were a good pair and uh, they look reasonably alright. Uh, just some of the paintwork's not too great. Actually, these two look pretty good. Vegeta has a few issues. And I decided I'd just review them together really quick. I'm not really sure what series these are from, because I don't have the boxes for them, or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and zoom in for the, uh, details and the sculpt and the paint and all those sorts of things. Alright, here we have Nappa and Vegeta. Uh, they are standing right next to each other, and I'd say they're for the most part in scale with one another. Nappa is kind of hunched down a bit, so he would be a bit taller if he was standing up straight like Vegeta is. In terms of size, they are a little bit taller than like a Marvel Universe figure like Wolverine here, but they're not huge or anything, and they certainly wouldn't be in scale with like a figure arts figure or anything like that. They also don't really have any articulation or anything. They are pretty much just little plastic figurine statue kind of things. Look at the detail really quick on both of them, and then we'll zoom in on some head sculpts and things like that. Uh, Vegeta has a spiky hair up here. They're both wearing their Saiyan armors. They both have the big shoulder pads. Vegeta's chest piece is white, while Nappa is black. Vegeta has his white gloves, and he has his tail wrapped around his waist. They both have the tails. And uh, Nappa has more gauntlet like things, and they have the little yellow bands there around the wrists. Uh, Vegeta has white boots, and Nappa has his uh, black and yellow boots. Nappa also is not wearing pants, and he also has bare arms. If you flip them over on the back, you can see tails tied around back there. And also, neither one of them have flaps on the back. And that is pretty much the extent of the body detail. Now let's zoom in on the, on the head sculpts, and I guess we'll start with Vegeta. Head sculpt-wise, Vegeta's not too terrible. Uh, his eye on this side looks to be maybe a little bit off-center or something like that. The scouter is sculpted really nicely and is over the eye. He's got like a little black mark there on the teeth. But for the most part, the face sculpt looks pretty good. It looks a lot better than some of the other ones of these kinds of figures I had. Now let's take a quick look at Nappa. I would say Nappa's head sculpt is really rather decent. It is bigger, so I guess they had more room to work with it. Um, Smirk is sculpted in there nicely. The scouter is about as detailed, and it looks to be positioned a bit better. You got the mustache. All the painting looks pretty good. I'd say Nappa it looks better. And, uh, yeah, it's just probably overall just better looking, really. Okay, now let's take a look at their bases, since they have no real articulation. They both come with translucent orange bases, which have stars on them to resemble Dragon Balls, and they both have pegs in them. Uh, Vegeta's has two stars, and Nappa's has three stars. They will both stand on them, and they will stand without them as well. I don't actually have packaging for these guys, so I've got a picture superimposed around here somewhere. Uh, they're basically just a little cardboard box with the pictures of the figures on them. They're not really good for display or anything like that. So, yeah, Vegeta and Nappa. All right, that wraps it up for Nappa and Vegeta, so until next time, goodbye. Hello, you've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels, Venom Raptor, for all my variety gaming content, and VR Reviews, for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you, and goodbye.